Hey now. So if you came to me today and asked me who has the sloppiest autograph of any Hall of Famer living, I would probably go back and think to myself for about maybe a second and say Harold Baines. Worse than Piazza. Worse than, I don't know, Landis. I, I mean, Frank Thomas, all of them. My opinion, the worst autograph out there right now is Harold Baines. He may also be the worst player in the Hall of Fame, but that's a whole separate argument argument I don't want to get into. So the good thing about Harold Baines is he's very good through the mail. Although I just read, he just started charging money when you mail to the PO box in Maryland, which is, I'm sorry, you had two years to mail to him to get it for free. So he started charging money because he is a hall of famer, whether you like it or not, but his autograph is pure slop in my opinion. I mean, he has no pride in his autograph. If anything, I think his autograph may have even gotten worse since he's got in the Hall of Fame as he's now signing more autographs. So without any further ado, let's talk about the horrible autograph of Mr. Harold Baines. So this here, what you're looking at is what I paid $60 for in 2019. It is a post-induction. I should say maybe, no, pre, I don't know, whatever. It is after he got elected to the Hall of Fame. This is the Harold Baines autograph I got. Uh, maybe I should have asked for or paid more money and got it, some kind of inscription of his full name. Uh, we'll look at his autograph in a second, but like even the H is worse. It almost looks like a five-pointed star. I think there may be a D hidden in there. Is that a B? Is that an A? I don't know what this is. It's pure slop. I mean, it's his slop, but it's still pure slop. I hate it. It's, it's just fugly. Uh, it really pisses me off, sorry, kids, that I paid $60 for this crap. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's his autograph. I mean, if you go into the PSA database, which we'll do right now, and really – it's really tough to say what to look for in his autograph because he's not being forged right now. He's so cheap. He's everywhere. He's on, he's signing on the circuits. I mean, if I'm going to forge an autograph, it's not going to be Harold Baines because there's no money to be made in it. So I wouldn't, I'm not going to go too deep into it. And I apologize for that. So you can tell this is again, an autograph. I believe it was signed after he got on the hall of fame. It's someone that's real big getting full name baseballs right now. So again, you can still see like the Herald's a little better. It's still very lazy for lack of a better term. He doesn't like to take his hand off the ball. Uh, I could sort of see the H a little bit better. That's probably what I would look for the most is this real big jet out to the left here, like with a point right here of the Baines. Here's a full, full Harold Douglas Baines. But again, if you look at them all, they're all bad. I mean, Again, this is a little bit better. I wish I could have got even a little better D than that. But you can see right here, it's a little more spaced out than the one I had. But again, look at that H. It's just, again, you can see the jet out to the left. But it's just, it's fugly, really fugly. Uh, I want to go to, this is probably an earlier autograph of his. I don't know what year, maybe we can zoom in. 1980s. This is, again, rookie year baseball. So he did have an autograph nice at one time. And again, you can see it jetted out to the left. It's not as sharp. It's more loopy with the H, but this is a nice autograph. And actually when I did meet him, I did say if he could sign his full name and he gave me what you saw, which was junk slop, whatever. So again, if you go into eBay and I was looking it up, you can get like a nice full name PSA ball for $29. I mean, that's cheaper than a signed baseball at times. And again, if you look at this ball, it's not, it's a, it's, a, it's a, let's go down. I mean, if you look, it's not inexpensive. You're not going to be forging Harold Baines and making money on this autograph. I mean, you got the sharp jet out PSA. The ball is ugly. It's spotted. It's tone. This is probably an older Harold Baines autograph because it's somewhat decent, actually. I mean, I would like to get at least that type of signature for the money for the $60 I paid. And again, $60, he's definitely on the cheaper, if not the cheapest Hall of Favors out there. I understand that, but still, you pay money, you should have some pride in your autographs. And in my opinion, he just has no pride. Again, I'm just looking down. You can see how cheap you can get a nice autograph baseball of his. And again, if you're going to buy one on eBay, just again, look for the jet out to the left. You can get one that's authenticated. I don't think you're going to be paying much more money for it. Like, yeah, here's a $40 one on a Hall of Fame baseball. And these baseballs will cost $40. And this is a Beckett authenticated right here. So again, so going back, uh, we had to cover him. We had to check him off the list. So I'm sorry there's not more detail on him. I mean, someone may point out that, yeah, there's a nice forged item out there, but I don't know why anyone would forge him. So 
we are going to get to cool Papa Bell. Much more uh, interesting name, to say the least. Uh, a little bit more challenging, not too bad. But I don't want to leave you in too much suspense, but I have a great cool Papa Bell autograph. I can't wait to show you. Uh, as always, keep collecting.